Oh wow. Yeah, that's worth getting out of your bed for in the morning. Beautiful. Good morning. Um, off out on another adventure. Uh, I had big plans for today. I had it all planned out and uh, I was going to come out and try out the uh, the tilt part of my tilt shift lens but um, while I was driving up from Glasgow to where I am um, we got some really nice fog and I decided to just revert back and do a wee bit of woodland photography instead so I might I might be able to use the the tilt function of the lens if we could get some nice big trees but uh, otherwise I'm, I'm just going to concentrate on doing some, some woodland photography. Taking lots and lots of uh, moody waterfall shots and uh, misty trees. Okay, so I think I've got the first composition. I'm only about... <laughs> 50 yards from the from the car, but uh, already I found this thing. I've come down. I've come down to the water side here. And we've got this nice uh, overhanging tree, which is uh, hanging over the river. We've got some lovely little water cascades here, and the further down you go, the the, the misty that it's getting. So I think what I'll do is take a a couple of long exposures here. Um, it's still dark, it's, the sun's not up yet, so um, they're going to be long exposures anyway, but we're, uh, yeah, it looks like we may get some nice shots here. Yeah, I quite like that. That's, that's quite a nice composition there, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but basically um, I've framed the shot with the overhang and uh, it's been quite a long exposure, um, I think, let me just check, yeah it's a four second exposure at, at, at f9, I've got to take that up to f11 to give me a slightly longer exposure, but uh, yeah that's quite a nice shot that, I like that. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of clipping up in the sky there, but not much. And uh, yeah, that seems uh, seems nice and sharp. So yeah, happy with that. That's a nice shot. What I've done here is uh, I've changed lens. I've gone back onto the 24 to 105, and I'm shooting right across the river now, rather than down river. As you can see, the mist is actually starting to clear down there already. So I'm shooting across the river at these, uh, these cascades in the water and uh, doing some long exposures again. Try to make the most of what little mist there is left. Um, I've got a few images from this area but I'm going to move further down the river because uh, down there's the, the Falls of Lenny. <laughs> I was actually going to joke that it was the only waterfall in Scotland that's been named after a Simpsons character but I'll, uh, I'll leave that joke for another time I seem to remember shooting from this point before a bit of a struggle to get to it, but yeah, I think we remember shooting from this point before. Um, what I particularly like was you've got this little stream coming down and then joining the, the main flow of the river uh, and disappearing up there towards the falls. Right, I'm not sure if the video camera's picking this up, but I think we must be around about um, dawn, sunrise, because we're starting to get a little bit of colour in the sky and the mist is starting to pick up again um, which is making for some quite nice shots I've got the telephoto lens on at the moment because um, I was concentrating on trying to really emphasise the mist um, 
but that was before <laughs> that was before the lovely colour started. So I'm going to throw the the 16 to 35 mil wide angle on again to try and include some of that sky, and uh, yeah, see if we can make the most of this brief little bit of colour. Yeah, it's really starting to pop now. It's, it's even coming out in the water now, as you can probably see. Lovely. Oh wow. Yeah, that's worth getting out of your bed for in the morning. Beautiful. That is absolutely stunning. I don't know if the video camera will be picking this up, but um, I'm ho certainly hoping that the, the stills camera is, because this is absolutely gorgeous. We're just getting a little bit of the tree line coming out in the, in the mist in the background there. Right. I know I said I wasn't going to use the tilt shift and do any more panoramas today, but I'm afraid I've already shot one and uh, I've got another one that I want to do. So, uh, yeah, I lied. Sorry. So, yeah, as you can see, we still have a little bit of colour in the sky, not much, still a wee bit of mist. Uh, We've been playing around with this new lens long enough, so I'm going to take a walk down the riverside, down towards the, the main falls of Lenny. Um, the only falls in Scotland to be named after Lenny Kravitz. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Can somebody tell me here what came first, the mushroom or the twig? That's, that's amazing. Yeah, I like this shot. Um, I've come off the the main path just a little bit, uh, not too far from where I was uh, shooting the river a second ago. And uh, I found this little stream. In fact, this is the stream that was running into the, the main river. I've just came upstream a little bit and found this nice little waterfall. Um, and as you can see, hopefully, the light's just starting to break through the mist and it's uh, yeah, it looks quite nice so I've taken a couple of shots here I've just I've just noticed I don't know if you'll be able to see this but just down there there's a strange little arc where the the water's hitting a boulder and then going back up in the air so I might try and get some some macro shots of that because that looks quite quite strange but uh, yeah yeah I've never actually Shot this part before, I've never come off the path at this point before, but yeah, it looks nice, especially with a little bit of light starting to come through and pick out individual trees and, and branches, I quite like that. Yeah, this looks like it would be a nice shot here, but I can't for the life of me see how I would get down there without breaking my neck. It's, uh, it's quite a drop. Maybe one from the other side. I'll try that next time I'm up, I think. Okay, I found a way down. Not quite at the part that I was talking about, but it's still got quite a nice wee... Sorry about that. It's all quite a nice uh, little view of the falls here. Um, and I'm kind of liking, there's just a little bush here with some red berries, which makes for some interest if I can arrange a composition where they appear in the, in the frame alongside the waterfall and the, the misty trees in the background there. So uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna set up and see if we can grab something here. This is, uh, again, this is another part of the, the river and the falls that I've never shot from before, so we'll see where we can get. 
Still not seen another soul this morning. Which is nice. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to go down a bit further towards the actual Falls of Lenny. Um, one of the few waterfalls in Scotland to be named after the British comedian Lenny Henry. So here we are, um, just at the start of the Falls of Lenny. It's a bit difficult to get down to, to get close to the water to get a, a reasonable shot, so I'm probably going to just stay up here on the path and try and pick out details as we as we go along. Yeah, the only waterfalls in Scotland to be named after former Star Trek actor and accomplished photographer Leonard Nimoy. I found my way down to the the water side. Light's not great, it's not exactly sun's not exactly breaking through into the waterfalls themselves, but uh, yeah, it's a nice wee spot this. Uh, again, yet again, I've never been down here. You'd think I'd, I was new to photography or something, I've never been to half these places. But uh, yeah, I kind of like the way the lights hitting those trees there and uh, obviously as I say I'm not I'm not, it's not quite getting the waterfalls but but uh, yeah I think this is just crying out for another uh, panoramic don't you yeah the main problem we shooting here is just there <laughs> Right there is the main A84 road through Calendar and up by the side of uh, Lachlubnig and you kind of got to time your shots so that you don't get a, a lorry going by in the background but uh, it's reasonably quiet at the moment uh, but I think I had a couple of shots round already with where lorries can buy, certainly earlier when it was still quite dark and they had the headlights on, that was a bit of a problem so that's one to watch out for if you're up here is uh, just be aware of that but yeah, yeah, it's still looking nice and hopefully getting some images yeah, what I've done is I've got down a bit lower to try and cut out some of the glare of the, obviously there's clear blue sky up there now um, I really like these these trees though that are kind of bending over the the water. That seems to be a theme with me. Um, so I've got down a bit lower. I'll show you the back of the camera. I've got down a bit lower to try and emphasise the water a bit more. But also you can see these trees are still in the shot, and I'm again having to bracket the exposure a little bit because I don't want that bright sky in the background. Uh, but I do want the river to blur, so it's a wee bit of a juggling game at the moment. I'm going to take some close-ups of these these cascades here uh, with that old tree over there um, and see how that looks, that might make for a nice little kind of abstract. Hi, it's looking not bad eh? Falls Eleni. Probably the only waterfall in Scotland to be named after famous singer-songwriter Leonard Cohen. Right, I'm in a <laughs> rather precarious situation. I'm right over the edge of quite a steep drop down into the falls, but it makes for a really nice angle, right? So I'm going to get in trouble with this when I get home, but. At the moment, it's, uh, it's looking good. I'll just uh, flip around so let you see this. So yeah, I'm kind of right on the edge. The good news is if I fall, there's, it's, it's only a 20 foot drop until I hit some rocks. 
I won't fall directly into the water, which is good because I can't swim. But um, yeah, no, it's, it's making for quite a nice image. That I, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, that's good. That's, that's rather nice. Um, obviously, we've got these kind of swirls down there in the in the river, uh, going around these boulders, and uh, I've got this uh, this tree here is kind of providing some foreground, and it's kind of leading the eye in. It's also kind of framing that little waterfall there, so that's that looks nice, yeah. Provided again the exposure's okay. Uh, I think that should be nice. I focused on the tree itself and I'm at F18 to try and give it quite a wide depth of field. And uh, yeah, no, I quite like that, it's, it's not too bad. I'll probably crop away a lot of this stuff up here, make it a, a 16 by 9 again. But uh, ah, I like that, I like that. Especially with the, the just the little patches of light coming through on the tree and obviously on the opposite bank there. Uh, very nice. Yeah, another not too bad an angle. Uh, still a wee bit too close to the edge, but uh, but not as bad. Um, same again, I, I kind of like the way that the I frame you can frame this so that you've got the, the river coming in at one end, traveling through the image and back out the other. And you've got this little patch of uh, little patch of light here. And again, just out on the trees, just little patches here and there that are kind of giving it some depth. You know. Uh, yeah, I like that as well. Nice shot. Um, but yeah, what I've done is I've, I've set up this composition so that you have the the river coming in at the top of the frame, working its way down through the frame and then leaving again at the the bottom right. So it's pretty much exactly the opposite of that last shot that I took. Yeah, and that's us at the uh, the end of the falls. It's a nice shot down there. I've, I've shot there before. Um, again, another misty morning, but uh, I managed to get down to this part just as the sun was coming up. So I got some images right there of uh, the sun coming up. It was it was lovely. <laughs> Climb back up from the riverside there. Um, I've just remembered I was here about three or four days ago for a wee walk but didn't really do much in the way of photography and uh, I remember seeing a tree not too far from here um, that I thought looked very photogenic <laughs> Can't remember where though, and uh, it all looks different now that the sun's up. I'm going to have a wee look, see if I can find this tree, because I felt the other day there that it would make for a nice shot. So I'm going to try and track that down and uh, see if we can get one last shot of the day. Uh, fingers crossed. No, no idea where it was. It wasn't far from here, but uh, it all looks different when the sun's out. Eh? I'll keep looking. In the meantime, I've found found these trees, which they're not the ones I was looking for, but I kind of like the way the you know with the ferns are starting to turn brown, and every now and again a little leaf falls from the tree, and. Uh, little patches of light in the woods. I'm going to take a couple of images here anyway just to see how they look when I get them back into Photoshop. But uh, yeah, I'll keep looking for this other one. Still on the hunt for this elusive tree. <laughs> I have no idea where it is. <sighs> Can't have been far from here. I might actually just retrace my steps and uh, 
try again. The things you do for a photograph eh? It's not that one either. Uh, oh well, right, I'll call it a day, head back to the car and uh, let the real day begin. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, as always, uh, please uh, give me a like and subscribe to the channel if you, if you like what you're seeing. If you don't, feel free to let me know why and uh, what I could do to improve. Uh, obviously I'm still trying to come to grips with putting together YouTube videos and uh, not really sure what direction the, the channel is going to go in yet. It was originally just so that I could share a wee bit more with people on my Facebook page, but uh, as it's went on, I've started to enjoy the actual process of making kind of short films. So it might well turn out that um, the, the channel goes off in a completely different direction from the one that I'd originally intended. But uh, yeah, we'll worry about that later. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, give me a like, give me a subscribe if that's the sort of thing you want to see. And uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you again next time. Thank you.